wasn't happy with those foul calls. Those were uh, unusual calls. But, you know, he tried to play, uh, you know, aggressively, got called for it, uh, you know, tried to limit his game a little bit because they were coming at uh, taking charges. And, uh, you know, really changed the complexity of this ball game. I mean, Ray in the first half, you know, when he gets into those zones, um, you know, I was happy. Our, our team could see it, and you could see they were doing everything they could to find him. Tonight I just was focused on um, uh, adjustments uh, to, you know, Kobe attacking, um, being in position, you know, before, you know, I can get a bad call, uh, helping my teammates out and making sure we move the ball. And, uh Big set great screens for me today. Uh, they made sure that, you know, Rondo pushed the ball in transition. We got a lot more fast breaks, fast break opportunities this time than we did um, in game one. In terms of getting back. And then at the end of the game, we let it slip away. Hey, can I ask you about uh, the, the home court issue? Well, you just got to go up to Boston and win. Again, on the right side? Kobe, what are you seeing out of Lamar's game right now, and what do you think he needs to do to be a little bit more productive for you guys? Just uh, stay out of early fouls. Again on the right. Kobe, James Allen, AMA 30, KLA. Um, last game, you guys had a substantial advantage in the paint. This time, they won the paint. Is that one of the key factors that you guys need to win to, to win the series? Yeah, but, you know, the key factor is turnovers. You can't. Can't turn the ball over. You know, we'll, we'll continue to pound the ball inside, but we can't give them easy baskets to transition. Vic on this side. Kobe, this is Sports Center. Dari Noka with quarter. Jay Harris. You're watching live Fourth coverage of Kobe play. Bryant's post game news conference. The Celtics win game two. The series with the Lakers is tied at one. Always bounce into the Celtics flow. Just uh, costly turnovers down the stretch. That's it? That's it. Were you surprised when you got that fifth foul early in the fourth and was it difficult to play with five fouls throughout the quarter? You just got to be careful. You know, I don't expect picking up five fouls the next game. Same row on the aisle. Kobe, uh, can you just talk? I know Phil talks about this all the time. What is the process that basketball players go through when you're dealing with quick whistles? I mean, how do you read officials and how do you guys determine how to play based on what the officials are calling? You just you got to play. You got you know you got to play your game. I mean you know let the whistles kind of sort themselves out. Kobe, Kobe, um, it was a Ray Allen was just on fire in that first half. Uh, you're used to being perhaps on the other side of that where you're the one putting up big numbers. Can you talk about what you do as a team to try to stop someone that hot? Try to take the ball in his hands as much as possible. And when he doesn't have the ball, he's coming off screens. How do you know, he's catching it. it. You got to try to deny him and force him off of his sweet spots, but you know, he was hot. Over on this side, standing. Go ahead. Go. we talk about this all the time. Perfect example here of how one game to another doesn't really mean anything, especially in the finals. You just, each one is a new experience. And the thought of that of going into Boston. I mean, it's, you know, it's a series. You, know, you try to stay even kill, you don't get too high, you don't get too low after a win or a loss, you just move on to the next one. Take care of business. Steve, back right. Kobe, when you are playing in foul trouble, um, how much do your opposing teams, do the opposing teams try to do things to get you out of the game or at least, you know, see if you're going to become passive? Oh, yeah, I'm sure, you know, that's part of the strategy at some point. Um, but, you know, as players, you just got to play through it and just try to be smart. That's all you can do. Did you sense the, uh, the Celtics were, you know, saw that as a, a point of vulnerability or anything? Um, you know, at certain times in the game, but not, not really, not much. Kobe, uh, a Andrew said that you guys didn't lose home court until you lose game three. How much does that make game three important to just take it right back and as if you were up 2-0 leaving here? Well, I mean, it's, it's the most important game. Game one was most important. Game two is the most important. No, no, it's game, it means it's just the next game. Simple as that. Last question on the back left. Gary George, Inland Valley News. Kobe, what do you take positive out of, out of this game? I know Andrew had a big 21-point performance. Can you comment on those two things? 
It has nothing to do with scoring. Nothing. It's all defensively. Gave him too many easy baskets, blew too many defense assignments. That's it. Thank you, Kobe. Rajon Rondo will be next.